Laurel. Despite the chaos and confusion in our world, I see winds of hope blowing around the globe. It is a historic meeting. Kim Jong-un has become the first North Korean leader to visit the South since the Korean War. Families split either side of the Ethiopian Eritrean border, finally able to speak to each other for the first time in decades. Far-right candidate Zayeb Bolsonaro has won Brazil's presidential race. Jacob Zuma will step down as South Africa's president. Does this house want to deliver Brexit? The Irish people have voted in favor of scrapping a constitutional ban on abortion. This is about women taking their rightful place in Irish society, finally. A Chinese researcher claims to have helped make the world's first births of genetically altered humans. It's very disturbing. It's inappropriate. A data analysis firm linked to the Trump campaign retained the personal information of more than 50 million users. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. Seventeen people killed in connection with in a mass, mass shooting, shooting at a Florida high synagogue in Pittsburgh. The gunman opened fire, fire during morning. Service. And I don't want prayers. I don't want thoughts. I want gun control, and I hope to God nobody else sends me any more prayers. Thousands of students are expected to walk out of their schools. A mass protest across the nation against gun violence. A new report by the UN carries a stark warning. Millions more people will die from extreme heat by the year 2040. India's Kerala state was hit by the worst flooding it's seen in a century. A powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck the island of Sulawesi Friday. Several separate enormous wildfires are taking a terrible toll. The stuff that we lost isn't as important as the fact that our families all torn apart. Yemen's humanitarian crisis is escalating to devastating levels. The United Nations warns up to 13 million civilians are at risk of starvation. The administration's new crackdown on illegal immigration at the border. Over a six-week period, nearly 2,000 kids were separated from nearly as many adults. You know, they have a word. It sort of became old-fashioned. It's called a nationalist. You know what I am? I'm a nationalist, okay? In Paris, violent clashes erupted between police and protesters for the third straight weekend. We pay so many taxes. It's impossible now to have a, a good life for us. This is Jamal Khashoggi captured on closed circuit cameras, stepping into what Turkish authorities believe was a death trap. I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You're telling me that my assault doesn't matter. That what happened to me doesn't matter. That Bill Cosby becomes the, the first celebrity to be convicted in the Me Too era. I've dreamt of this day for 32 years. Abusers, your time is up. The survivors are here, standing tall, and we are not going anywhere. Falling on your knees. What I know for sure is that speaking your truth is the most powerful tool we all have. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. The midterm elections were full of historic firsts. First Muslim women. First Native American women. First openly gay man elected governor. It means something to kids and people to see images that reflect themselves. It's historical. It moves me, like it moves me to tears. That is going to have an impact, because imagery does. You know, representation does. France are the champions of the world. All 12 boys and their soccer coach have now been rescued from that flooded cave in Thailand. An immigrant from Mali is being called a real-life Spider-Man after he rescued a child dangling from a balcony. Look at this. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. There are no limits to the human spirit. Touchdown confirmed. I believe what makes us unique is transcending our limits. I would much rather fail gloriously than not venture, not try. Right up and do it. Mm -hmm.